February was a challenging month for us. Storm Eunice made short work of the plastic cover, although um, fortunately we managed to salvage most of it. But this was then followed by a massive storm surge, which um, stopped work on the quayside and threatened to float our new stem off down the river. We soon had everything more or less back in order. Whilst the weather hasn't played ball, we took the opportunity to head off to see some fellow heritage organisations over at Malden in Essex. This enabled us to see the fine work they're doing at Downs Road Boatyard, where they're not only repairing and restoring the old craft, but they're building new ones too. Whilst there, we took a tour of the various barges on site, including the Wivenhoe, who will be back in commission this year, following several years out of action. Uh, we've got the sweet little Nelly and the mighty Will, moored here at Kev Finch's yard at Formal Bridge. When we popped into the workshop at Downs Road, we picked up some new mast tubes for the smack. Uh, but it was lovely to see an active workshop that feels like a bit of a throwback to old times. As well as this excursion, we have recently been meeting with Gordon Vincent of Whitstable Maritime, who are leading on the restoration of the Oyster Yaw Gamecock. We hope to get our own thistle in commission in the coming months and visit the harbour with her in support of their efforts. One event that we've been asked to put together is a river pageant for the Queen's Jubilee. So we're currently planning that in the back office. Ethan's done a cracking job of designing the logo, but now we're left with the hard task of organising the thing. Back on the barge, Alvin's been dobbing the paint on the old metalwork and we completed our mast deck repair bedding the mask case back down in plenty of felt and tar. We do this to stop the water getting between the wood and the metal and causing rot problems in the future. With the rotten old stem laying on the quayside, we cleaned up the apron, which is the bit of oak that holds all the plank ends in place. And then we started shaping up the new stem using a mixture of old and new techniques. We can't wait to get stuck into this 2022 season. It really is shaping up to be one of the best ever. So if you want to join us, then take a look at the website. And if you want to support us in our work, then maybe have a look at becoming one of our patrons.